Last season, the college football world was taken by storm on true freshman quarterback Caleb Williams beat out Heisman candidate and Spencer Rattler at Oklahoma. And just recently, Caleb Williams shocked the college football world again with transferring to Lincoln Riley and USC. In this video, I'll tell you why I believe Caleb Williams will be the next starting quarterback for the USC Trojans. Let's get it. So why will Caleb Williams be the next QB1 for USC? So the most obvious reason is because he played under the same head coach that he's going to be playing at, at USC in Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma. And why that gives him a big, you know, startup is because like, I mean, how is he going to pick, like, think about it, right? How good Caleb Williams played last season. You really think that Lincoln Riley is going to go with somebody else? I, I highly doubt it. You know, how good of play Caleb Williams showed as a true freshman. You know, Lincoln Riley, he knows how much better and he can see the ceiling on Caleb Williams and how much better, how much potential he has uh, to build up until his junior season, probably until he goes to the NFL draft. And so one of the first good qualities he really showed last season at Oklahoma when he started was his, the thing that you first saw was his dual third ability. Honestly, the dual threat ability for him is really lethal. Going back even to high school, um, I remember because I have a recruit channel free plug right there um, on YouTube. I did his highlights. I remember watching him when he committed in 2020. And I remember just watching and awe, just seeing like how he's able to go from passer to rusher. And, you know, that's a big thing that really helped him last season. You saw it in college football, it translated. And, you know, if he's able to get even faster honestly if he can get somehow faster you know it's it's gonna be lethal like he's gonna be such a lethal player in college football for the next two years it's gonna be insane um and that's just a huge thing you know last season that helps it helps oklahoma a lot it, in pivotal moments him being able to run the ball on the run too um passing the ball you know and then going into it he has a strong arm Kalen williams last season you saw it he has a really strong arm he's able to sling it 40 or 50 yards down the field with no problems which is really good for a freshman quarterback um being able to do that and then like i was just saying like on the run how he's able to pass on the run just recalling one time i saw uh when i remembered it was against in the red river rivalry against texas where he threw it I want to say it was about 30, 40 yards. I can't remember how long it was, but it was still an amazing throw to Marvin Mims in the end zone. It was like, yeah, dude, I, every Oklahoma fan knows this. Every Texas fan remembers it. Even if like, if you're a college football like fan or diehard fan, you remember this play too. Um, it was an amazing throw, amazing catch too by Marvin Mims. But if he's able to do that type of stuff, fit passes into those windows, especially on the run, um, that's that's a big quality that NFL QBs can do, you know, and that's a good quality that he shows already as a, you know, now now a soft. Um, so, you know, if he can get that even better, you know, he's going to be a first round pick 100 percent. And then next, like I was just saying, like, with its actually just building onto that uh, last season, he finished the would finished in the season with 65 percent completion percentage. That is really solid for a college quarterback. Um, just overall as a college quarterback, that's pretty that's pretty good. And then one thing I could say he could work on is just not forcing things. Last season, he forced quite a bit of things, but that's just expected kind of as a freshman quarterback, just getting used to seeing new defenses and, you know, playing against better players, you know, every day or every Saturday. Um, it's just a thing that you have to get used to. And I mean, he played really good against the defenses. It's just sometimes he didn't take what was there. And that's just something that freshman QBs sometimes, you know, struggle with. So I think next season he's going to take what's there. He's not going to just try and go for the big play um, when there's an easier route open for guaranteed yards. Um, so, you know, I just I, I just say that just because that's not that's not really a concern but it's just like a thing i know that you know if he works on that he can just become that much better of a quarterback uh, but yeah guys that is it that is why i believe Caleb williams will be a next qb1 for usc if you guys agree with me comment down below comment actually who if you think that he could win the heisman next season honestly i'm gonna say or not i believe he can win the heisman he's my dark horse for it a lot of people have been doubting him um 
I feel like a lot of that comes from him going to the Pac-12 because people just say a lot about the Pac-12 and how, you know, it's easier competition and everything like that. But I don't think people should sleep on Caleb Williams, you know. I'm, I think he'll take that to his advantage playing against some, some, some easier defense. Not all, some. I'm not going to say that the Pac-12 is trash because it's not, you know. There's a lot of good players that come from there. And yeah, that is why I believe Caleb Williams is the next QB number one for USC. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, comment down below if you believe he could be the Heisman. How much in how much you guys believe his stat line, how much passing RC is gonna pass for next season. We'll see you guys on the very next episode. Peace.